Okay, guys and gals. So Paul here, uh, and this today I really want to talk about uh, you know this weekend. It was kind of a uh, it wasn't the greatest weekend for me, um, but you know there are people out there you know especially going through the holidays and stuff like that. I did get a phone call last night, and you know one of my uh, uh, friends from uh, growing up. So this is when we were kids, like we all you know probably around 12, 13 years old on up to college. Um, this is, you know, that, that's these type of guys right here. And anyway, Charlie was uh, on his, uh, he, he, they took him off life support last night and he was still breathing. Um, unfortunately, the situations, anyway, I don't wanna get into the whole subject of how he died or why he died, but uh, you know, he, he was a little bit younger than me, a couple years younger than me. And this year I've lost, uh, you know, like three, three pretty close, uh, friends of mine one was his brother actually and he was actually even younger than uh, than both of us So Brian and Charlie both passed this year and then so did um, Steve Sutton, you know my office cubicle for uh, We sat right next to each other for the last five years of my working career And so and Steve, you know, he passed from he got a rare form of cancer and after he was diagnosed with it for four years And he was gone. So anyway this weekend uh, we went to uh, we were we were getting this boat right here the Virginia Hawkeye ready for uh, the Christmas parade, and it just didn't happen. Uh, it, uh, the, the parade got canceled due to the weather, uh, and unfortunately, you know, you know, it was a big storm that came through there. Um, and not here, though. We didn't. In the end, we didn't get hit. Uh, but they canceled the parade, and I get why they have to do that stuff. Uh, but we did bring in Billy Claus. I'll show you a picture of Billy Claus here in front of the helicopter. My buddy, uh, uh, helicopter service, brought him in. I'm hoping to release that video this week. Uh, we just got to get permission from Lulu's to release the video. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update this morning. Uh, the Virginia Hawkeye here is a 36-foot Grand Banks, and I don't know how many of you guys are looking for boats or anything like this. This one will go on the market actually this year. Um, I will put it on the market here, and I'll let anybody know as soon as um, you know. You can leave a comment down below. I really want to start working on my comments this year. Uh, you know, anybody in the market and is really looking at this, uh, this is like a 1983 Grand Branks uh, trawler here. Um, uh, well, the owner would love, if, you know, if, if, if the, that the boat kept its same name. It's been in the same family for 40 years since it's brand new, and it really shows that on the inside of the boat because, like a lot of these boats you'll walk into, and the wood is just rotten inside there, you know, where the moisture got in around all the windows and stuff like that. But this boat is in pristine shape as far as all that stuff goes. So got a little, a few engine hours on her, but I think it was rebuilt. Um, you'll have to work through that. Um, and then they're putting a new bottom job on it. That'll, they will, the bottom job will be done here right after the first year. I think we're gonna go put it on the hard. I'll do more videos of the boat too coming up as we put it on the hard, as we get her ready for sale. But the canvas was just completed on it. Uh, that was this year. Actually, it was Wednesday of this, the canvas guys finally finished the job Wednesday of last week and um, you know just that just that right there it's all brand new and that that alone right there was seven thousand dollars I think they're gonna ask somewhere around seventy five thousand dollars for the boat I think we pinned that down exactly to the exact number yet but we'll see it's a single screw and that's you know for the Christmas parade I was looking forward to driving this thing because I haven't driven a single screw taller in so long uh, you know since I've had the, the two twin screws lately that I really was looking forward to driving it um, for the uh, light parade. But tomorrow I'm gonna take uh, uh, my boat out, uh, just stretch her legs a little bit. We're gonna go have uh, lunch over at the wharf on Tuesday. And uh, you know, just let her stretch her legs, uh, get used to docking over there and stuff like that because I really liked it over there when we, we just drove over there the other day and had lunch. So it was a pretty cool experience over there. But anyway. Start leaving your comments down below. Also, anybody uh, in, uh, you know, if you're buying something on Amazon, you can just leave a comment down below and I will give you a link. And if you use that link, I get credit for it. And I need three of those a month. So, and I do appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, I really want people to start really getting involved with the channel. Leave your comment. Uh, let's work together. You know, let's see if we can keep it going. See if we can keep the momentum going on the channel and everything like that. Anyway. Paul, remember, live life with no regret. I do. Thanks. Bye.